transmitted by our optic inspire, Samantha Jacobs. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. I would like to thank all of you for coming to my moments for this morning. The name of my portion today is Korah. The special part about this Shabbat is that it is also Shabbat Rosh Kodesh. Shabbat Rosh Kodesh is when the beginning of a Jewish month lands on Shabbat, and that just <coughs> happens to be today. This means that I have a special Haftarah that we took out a second tour from the Ark, and that I read a special Mafteralia. But back to the story of Korah, which is what I want to speak about this morning. As you may know, Every parsha has a special story. My parsha is the story of Korach's rebellion. So, we all know that God chose Moses to lead us to the promised land, but not everyone knows what really happened in order for Moses to become our one and only leader. It turns out that somebody else wanted to be our leader too, and that somebody's name was Korach. Korach led a rebellion against Moses with his group of supporters and challenged Moses' authority. Moses and Korach then had to go to God who would then choose which one of them would lead the Israelites to the promised land through a test involving their fire fans. Clearly, Moses was the victorious, and the punishment for rebelling against Moses is that Korach and his rebellion were swallowed by the earth. As I thought about the story, I wondered what might have happened if Korach had acted differently, not changed his idea, but changed his way of expressing himself. Say, for example, he approached Moses calmly like if he went up to his tent and asked if he could talk to him for a little bit. Maybe they could have worked things out and they both might have led the Israelites to the promised land without anyone being swallowed by the earth. This week's Parsha reminds me of, me of how my sister and I act when we fight. I love my sister, but we do fight from time to time. And when we do, I'm much more like Moses and she's like Korah, just coming and yelling. Sometimes we even need another person to break us up or she'll just get swallowed by the earth. The conclusion that I have reached is that it matters how we talk to people when we have a conflict with them. Speaking calmly and privately can change the outcome. I mean, would you rather get swallowed by the earth or help become a leader? I think most of us would go with the second choice. When we are mad and take out our anger against someone in front of others, it can be embarrassing and the person is not likely to hear our suggestion. But we all have valuable things to say, and it is important for us to say them in the right way and in the right place. I would like to thank all my family and friends for being here today. It means a lot to me. I would also like to thank my parents for making all this possible, and my sisters for putting up with me for so long. Lastly, I need to thank Rabbi and Kim. Without them, I would be sitting in the pews with everyone else and probably not even knowing what was going on. My Haftarah can be found on page 1,220, with the Brachot before and after beginning on page 1,506. Shabbat Shalom.